Welcome back. Boy, you're in for a treat today. It was built in the 1920s. The Marlin Mansion in Ponca City is one of the most unique estates in Oklahoma. It's so rich in history. It was home to Oklahoma's 10th governor, E.W. Marlin. Our Jordan Daphnis is live at the Marlin Mansion for this week's hometown highlight. Hey, Jordan. Well, it is such a joy to show you guys the hidden gems here across the state an hour and 40 minutes from my house over here to Ponca City to the Marlin Mansion. And you guys, it was worth every minute. You can see behind me these beautiful paintings. I've got Rachel with the Marlin Mansion here to explain who are these people in these beautiful portraits. So that one is E.W., which is Ernest Whitworth Marlin. And then this is George, and that is Lighty. And who are they? So George and Lighty were his first wife, Mary Virginia's niece and nephew. And E.W. and Mary Virginia adopted them as their own children. Wow, and this is so crazy. You guys were telling us a little bit of the history is that it was common in that time if a family couldn't have kids, they would adopt from siblings. So these were his sister's children or it his was brothers? his first wife, Mary Virginia's kids. Wow, that yes. is incredible. And then who is E.W.? What is his history? Um, E.W. came to Ponca City in 1908. He started Marland Oil Company. By 1926, he was worth over $30 million. Wow. 1928, he was worth over $100 million. Incredible. In that time. Oh, my word. And this mansion is worth millions and millions of dollars. Yes. Okay, my favorite part is all of the details, you guys, from the flooring to the ceiling. What are we looking at here, Rachel? There is gold leaf on the ceiling. It has Waterford crystal chandeliers wow. from Ireland. Also, we have gold nuggets in all the air conditioner vents in this room. Wow. Well, I wish I had more time to show you guys even more, but we're going to be coming back later in the show giving you another look. There's another house here as well. There's just so much to see. You guys have got to make the trip. We'll keep telling you why later. All right. I'm Jordan Daphnis for Oklahoma Zone News 9. Welcome back. It's almost 945 on our Friday. Do you have big weekend plans? What are you doing? No, staying indoors, yes. trying to cool off. And beat this. the heat, right? Yes, we have the Emmy Awards tomorrow, I know. too. Hopefully we'll come back with some good news on Monday. We have some great news from Ponca City. It was designed to be a showplace to house beautiful pieces of art. And then the Marlin Mansion itself became its own masterpiece in the making. 43,000 square feet. Let's get back out to Jordan Daphnis in Ponca City to show us more of it. Hey, Jordan. Hey, you guys. Well, we kind of went backwards, okay? So there's actually two different houses. Marlon originally lived here for most of his time here in Absolutely. Oklahoma. Absolutely. And this house in itself is incredible. So much history here. Sonia keeps telling me stuff, you guys. And my jaw keeps on dropping. <laughs> and then I'm like trying to remember all of this information because this man did so much for Oklahoma. He okay. Did. So we are talking about the 101 Ranch first stop. What is the 101 Ranch? The 101 Ranch was the world's largest diversified ranch and it was here in Oklahoma. They were their claim to fame was the Wild West show. They traveled the entire world. They did have lions and tigers and bears and elephants and ostriches and they would travel the world with the Wild West show. It was part circus and part rodeo. Bulldogging was created there. They had an amazing thing. One of my favorites is the terrapin races. They were turtle races. And these were not your average turtles. They, well, they were your average turtles. They had hundreds <laughs> of them. But these weren't your average races. They had grandstands that people would sit in to watch these turtle races. People won, in 1926, a lady won 7,900 and something. She was able to pay off her mortgage oh, with the smells. winnings. That's almost 122,000 today. Sonia, that is so interesting. <laughs> it's crazy. Me and Stephen were saying we were born in the wrong generation. We want to make some money <laughs> off turtle races. Okay, Sonia, I'm thinking of the kids. They're coming here. They're going to love they looking are. at this, this setup that you guys have here. We do. We have so much Oklahoma history, and we love for the youngsters to come. We have reenactors that come and do the reenacting. We have Colonel Miller comes, and he tells the fabulous stories. The very first movies were made at the 101 Ranch before talkies. Hoot Gibson, Tom Mix, 
Will Rogers performed it. It was a fabulous day. Uh, the branch was so large, they made their own electricity, they had their own telephone system, and they even had their own currency. It is phenomenal. Just They had to butcher 20 pigs a day to feed the breakfast crew. Wow. That's how large it was. It was just a phenomenal time with phenomenal people, and it can come right here in the Grand Home. Sonia, I'm loving it. I'm <laughs> learning so much, and you're taking us back in time. You guys, we actually have not the best connection, so that's why Stephen can't walk and show you. We love it, though, because it just means you got to come out here and see this, because around the corner, there is even more cool stuff. He actually had the first indoor pool in Oklahoma. There's just, like, mm -hmm. fact after fact, so you've got to make the I told Sonia, I'm like, when I go on road trips, i got to know what food am I going to eat. Oh. So when people come to Ponca City, where do they need to stop to get food? We have several fabulous places. Uh, Head Country Barbecue uh, is headquartered here, and that's Danny's Barbecue. Fabulous food. If you like Mexican, we have a restaurant right inside the airport. It is in our airport, and it's called Enrique's, and people will fly in to eat there. Fabulous food. Absolutely fabulous food. Fabulous. Okay, love it. Okay, so some local restaurants you can check out. Come out here, Ponca City, the Marlin Mansion. It's really inexpensive. You'll have so much to do. And then go grab some food at a local joint. Okay, I'm Jordan Daphnis. I just planned your weekend. You're welcome. I'll send it back to you guys.